Al's Reticle coming up next. Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today I'll be discussing Al's Reticle. Al's Reticle is a free software that puts a red X right across your screen and it helps you helps you align your image and it's a very useful tool to have in your astrophotography toolbox. Follow me and I'll show you how to use it. To find Al's reticle on ice and space, uh, it's in a forum here. One thing you should be aware of is that uh, this is just a, uh, a list of different versions that Al has created in this forum list. So if you go to the very first one and download it, you'll get the, the oldest version. So I'd recommend that you, uh, I think, go to about page four of their uh, forum there and you'll find like version 3.3. And uh, version 3.3 is, it works really well on 32-bit systems. I s spoke to Al a little bit and he told me he was working on 64-bit uh, versions for Windows. So uh, if you're working with 64-bit, it should be coming out soon. Uh, what happens with the 64-bit version is you, you don't have the controls that you can push through the reticle. Just thought I'd let you know that. Uh, let's get started with this. Right now I'm working with a uh, Windows XP computer and uh, I'll launch Al's Reticle and what you can see with uh, Al's Reticle is it comes up with this uh, this little window with these controls in the upper left corner and what's uh, so good about this particular tool is that it allows you to align images from night to night so if you start imaging on one object and you want to continue imaging that same object the next night then you can use these this crosshair to uh, point on a star as you line up the image so you get that perfect uh, match of uh, images from night to night ideally you know you'd be able to just have your mount go right to it all the stars be perfectly lined but you know I live in the real world where I take my mount out and it goes to different places and things don't line up exactly each and every time so this little tool helps out a lot uh, first in this example I'll show you the, these two images I, I took if I'm clicking back and forth you can see they're pretty close to one another and when you get ready to stack the image the image of uh, if it has these uh, close enough offsets then you won't get feathering on your final image so this is really important to uh, align your image uh, the way I use this is uh, twofold. I use it for star alignment and I also use it for uh, lining up my image uh, if I start off on another night. Uh, the way you move the reticle is up here in the left corner you have these little uh, up and down arrow keys. You can move uh, the reticle to the left or to the right and you can move it up or down by just using these simple uh, up and down arrows here. Uh, there's some other uh, features you can do. You can actually make a little, if you want, you can make like a little uh, a circle in the center. You know, there's some different options that are in there that you can uh, use and play around with. I recommend uh, you know playing around with them. There's a color option. You can change the uh, the cursor. I mean, the crosshairs to any color you'd like. But uh, let me just give you a, a quick example of what I would uh, be using this for. How I align my image from one night to the next. Uh, this image right here is one that I took the night before and what I want to try to do to line up the image uh, to the next night is I want to pick a bright star. Now in this particular image right here it's about a 600 second exposure and when I'm doing my alignment I'm not going to be taking 600 second exposures and waiting to you know find out where I have to move it so I'll be taking very short exposures. So what I need to do is I need to try to uh, line the crosshair up on a very bright star. So I'm going to choose the star that's right right there and I'll just uh, kind of move it until it gets over the center of it. Oop, wrong way. Let me just do this. There we go. And bring it down until it's right over the top of that. Now this is just an example I'm showing you here but let's just say this next image that I have here is a very short exposure and you can see that exact same star uh, right there and what this crosshair does is it allows you to then move your mount to align that star and get it right on top of the crosshair so you can basically have 
uh, the images lined up on top of one another. This is very useful when you stack because if you have a, gr a great offset between the two images from each night, then you'll get this feathering effect and you may lose 25% or percent or more of your image because you're not lined up on it exactly. Now another way that I like to use uh, Al's reticle is for doing my star alignment. Just get the uh, reticle in the center of the image. Once I get the uh, reticle centered on the image for a al star alignment, let's just say my first star was Antares and I was going to align it, then I could just use that reticle as the, the centerpiece of my imaging camera and uh, just take very short exposures until that star gets lined up right on top of it and that way it, uh, you can you know, have a pretty you know, well aligned telescope. If this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.